Hey there, thank you for watching my first attempt at making Raindrop Damascus. I have learned a lot and I want to jump in to point out a couple of things that I don't think show through in the video. First, if you want to try something like this yourself, keep in mind there is a lot of wasted materials. I haven't measured in weight, but I think it's more than half of wasted materials in scales and grinds. Then for this particular pattern, I think a higher layer count would have looked cooler and I'll try that out next time for sure. And finally, make sure you don't drill holes symmetrically on both sides of the billet, as I did, because that will lead to pockets and holes after you draw out the material in thickness. Anyway, I'm very happy the process has worked out overall with good forge welds, so no cracks or delamination in the Damascus. And for that I have to thank my friend My Mechanics for making these awesome dies for me. He went through the effort of using H13 steel, that is a very tough steel for hot metal working, and these work absolutely perfectly. So much better than the ones that came with the power hammer. And now I even have the option to make my own attachments that can sit between the two flat dies and secure thanks to these threaded holes. He made a video about making those dies, so go ahead and watch that right now. I will leave a link everywhere. And of course, subscribe if you're not already. And that's it. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.